I'm Norma Walton, and this is Norma Walton Talks. Today's topic, residential condos, let's get out. During COVID, there's been a lot of frustration from condo owners and residents that their type of living has become unattractive. The reason being, they have to wait for elevators, there's a lack of social distancing in a building full of people, there is a lack of amenities, the pools are closed, the games rooms are closed, the gyms are closed. So all the things that attracted someone to that type of living, that social aspect, that convenience to downtown, that, that um, sort of incented them to buy has diminished significantly because of all the frustrations they've experienced the last four to five months during lockdown. And what I am seeing happening is a lot of those condominium owners are now looking to sell their condominiums and move to a house. So uh, family members of ours are looking to sell their condominium, try to find a house in Mimico. Other people we know are looking to sell their condominium and looking in Keswick. Another couple that we know is looking in Innisfil. So there is a desire to exit that type of ownership product and exchange it for one where you own the sky above, the dirt below, and you have your own outdoor space and you don't ever have to wait for an elevator again. There's a few things pushing that move. There is a lack of Airbnb rentals right now. There's no foreign buyers in the market right now, given that the borders are closed. And there's the frustration of existing condo owners who have survived the last four or five months and don't wanna have to do that going forward. So I see all of those drivers pushing people to buy houses and thus reducing the demand for residential condos in downtown Toronto. And that will likely cause a price reduction in condominiums, a rent reduction in condominiums that are rented and an increase in value in housing product that is affordable for condominium owners. So those are my predictions for the, for the residential condominium market in Toronto over the next two years. Thank you for listening. Thank you.